Jones South here with Lens Island and this is an open world uh, basically crafting, building, uh, killing moss, monsters and stuff like that. I think it's also PvP as well and this game is actually a really good survival game. Uh, it does take a while to get used to the game. It's kind of tricky to get started so right at this area I believe most people um, the, actually there's like a few different areas that you can pick to start off on. I believe I months like something guard. I forget what the island I'm starting something guard. So this is my island that I started up as and uh, basically the main thing that you want to uh, get it, uh, get down in this game is uh, pretty much just to get some of your food. So uh, that's kind of like like when you hit tab, this is like your whole stash, right? So it's you're going to be paying a lot of attention to this because like when you're doing dungeon runs and stuff like that, um, building, crafting, uh, getting food and whatnot, it's going to play a really big important role. So um, there's different types of tiers of buildings you can put in there. Uh, there's different types of like um, uh, weapons and tiers of weapons uh, as well, legendaries and stuff like that. So there's lots to do. So when you're starting out, the main thing you want to start doing is that um, you get like like one to three slots right i think no sorry one to four slots and so you'll get like a, a pickaxe an axe and that's it and then you get a weapon so with that you want to be start collecting resources so basically chopping down trees mining some ores there's different types of ores there's different types of shards that you have to collect uh basically jewel crafting as well uh, yeah so basically all this has a lot of work <laughs> to do but it's actually really fun so um, what I'm trying to do right now is that I'm gonna try to build a house for you guys to kind of get an idea of like how to build in this game. So right now, uh, whenever I swing and then whenever it whips back, about to whip back, that's when you want to left click. So basically I have AWS uh, for my controlling and then when you're whenever you're harvesting, you notice that the guy will whip back and then you'll want to like the, there's like that special uh, sparkle uh, when that when he whips back that's when you want to hit the left click and it makes you uh, crit so basically that's how you start critting in this game and uh, there's the box right there there's a barrels barrels drops off uh, these uh, basically metal salvage stuff which causes you to uh, upgrade uh, you have a research place you have to upgrade stuff and so that's very important mining these stones are important I think this is white stone I believe or limestone and then this is clay so everything has a part in this game and very integrated and so everything's actually very valuable and stuff like that so um, you want to be like harvesting as much as you possibly can because you will be spending a lot so this is right here these are herbs so right now I'm picking up some dandelion I think it's dandelion I'm not too sure um, Milgard or whatever it's called uh, that is used for crafting and also for selling so you can whenever you uh, harvest stuff you can also sell it as well these are blueberries there's fibers so uh, the fibers are actually important for uh, basically building buildings and uh, for stuff like that so that's important uh, that's iron right there so basically in the beginning of the game you do want to be on the hunt for blueberries as much as you possibly can because in this game you're gonna try to heal so what I did is I'm dragging it onto the correlating um, numbers so basically what ends up happening is that I had that torch I dragged the blueberries on top and then I lost the torch right so in this game uh, you have to be very specific where, where you're placing stuff because once like for your weapons and tools if you have like a basically a food item and then you put it there it's gone and so you then you have to go back to like a toolbox area where you can basically go uh, open up your tools again and then you can grab it again so you'll never lose all you never lose any of your weapons and stuff like that if you accidentally do that so just keep that in mind so right now that right there i'm clicking is the main floor so there's two different uh things that look almost similar but this is your foundation floor right so you want to clear off your foundation because uh uh, you can't build um so that's kind of what i'm doing right now i'm collecting some fibers that's also meant for building so uh click some fibers and then i have to chop down this tree just to make it look a little bit nicer so chop it down click some fibers click some wood and then i can finally uh get 
continuing to build so yeah basically i'm just gonna try to clear the area and whatnot so yeah it's a uh, it's actually a really fun game so click the stuff and then i'm gonna start building again so build your foundation it's a little bit uh tricky to build in this game so uh just keep that in mind so i built the uh, foundation and i'm placing the walls the walls automatically place themselves so you don't have to worry about anything so place the walls and then build it like that and then boom you have your house right so it's good it's just this is just a quick one i could you could build roofs as well and then you could also like upgrade the roofs to be like different types you can make it a little bit nicer and whatnot so that's basically how you build like your generic stuff you just want to build something kind of very basic and simple so that way you can place a bed and you can place like your crafting materials i do recommend to maybe have uh, a three by three so uh, going across like three up and three down so that way you have a little bit more room you're going to need the room because uh you'll be uh, i don't want you guys to be salvaging your stuff because you just uh hit f button and then you click on your wall and that will salvage it and then you lose a little bit of mats so make sure you build the first house a bit bigger uh at minimum i would say three by three so that way you don't re uh, waste any resources so right now i'm harvesting to build like some wood right now to harvesting to build a garden gardens are very very important uh, when i picked up those blueberries i picked it up for a reason because uh, with the gardening you are able to place it so this is the gardening right there so you just place that down and then you basically grab your blueberries uh, so you don't need to do it you just left click on the, the rows and you basically just click plant so first you have to first pick what type of uh, herb you want and then once you place it you just click, click place again so it's like it's just quicker and easier so that's basically how you plant any type of herbs or like um, any type of food you just place it in those columns you only get nine columns like the uh, nine placements in per stack so just keep that in mind this is the dungeon area so when you go in there you're going to be using that a lot a ton but it's actually a lot of fun make sure you come in prepared with a lot of blueberries because you will get destroyed if you come in there with no blueberries i can guarantee you're going to get kicked out of that place so quickly uh, you have to bring some blueberries especially when you're first starting so very difficult uh, dungeon to do uh, but it's a lot of fun so when it comes to crafting uh, that you have to build a workbench that's the first thing you want to be building um, or the first thing is technically a bench and then next will be the workbench because the workbench you can craft tools you can craft weapons uh, you could craft quite a few different things um, you can see right there I'm trying to like if I click on that I could learn all those things but they do cost five uh, salvage mineral uh, metals or whatever you want to call it so just keep that in mind when you're playing this game you want to build a stone wealth so you can upkeep your garden because if you don't I think they wither and die and then you want to build a, a watering can so that comes off of the crafting bench as well so the watering can basically helps you um, it helps you basically water your uh plants in your garden so you need a well for that i think you possibly could use the seawall uh seawater but i use the well because it's just way closer i'm trying to get the water tower because it doesn't a uh, it automatically does it so uh whenever you're crafting the first thing i would probably try to craft is a watering can because you need to get as much gardening as fast as possible so you can plant because when you plant you can actually get multiple blueberries which makes you more food which gives you more hit points and stamina and whatnot so um i'm right now i'm just trying to gather some minerals i think this is stone right there that's clay right there and then uh yeah so basically i'm just trying to and then there's the the other type of iron uh basically for mining as well for ore and whatnot so yeah, so I have my garden going. When that's all dark, you know, like before it was white, now it's dark. That means it's all watered. That means it's healthy right now. So um, it's very good to see that because you don't want it to be dried out. And I think they just weather and die. So uh, always keep your garden well nourished and stuff like that. There's the different types of herbs uh, you could buy at the store. Some of them you are required to buy them at the store. So there's like a shop where you can sell your stuff for gold and you can purchase things with gold. So. Uh, it's really nice. It's not paid to win. Uh, it's not really a pay system where you have to pay the, your 
real dollars to get stuff like that. It's like, this game's actually really well done. This is where you build your weapons and stuff like that. You can see each individual with my mouse cursor, how much it costs for each of them, and what they give, DPS, and all that stuff. Uh, there's the axe for logging that I need. There's the water can that I do need to upgrade possibly. Uh, I have to see what if, if I'm going to buy that or not because I'm probably going to get just the water towel which will automatically water my plants, I think. But uh, the water can basically gives you uh, a capacity of four. So every time you sprinkle the garden, you can do it four times instead of running back all the all the time back and forth, right? Those are the, the legendary stuff, the sets. Sets give you bonuses and whatnot, so you can see that out. So... You can see I don't have that much, but that's okay. Uh, the sets are pretty expensive to get as well. So underneath my crafting bench, I have the tool bench or basically the tool storage. So you could go in there and just basically look through what stuff you want to equip, disequip, uh, basically disarm and just put what you really want to have, right? So yeah, it's pretty useful. So, and then I'm going to go and I think like, yeah, there's just like all those stuff that you can do make sure that you buy tool stuff first before you buy weapons uh, because the tools are become gonna become like way more of a money maker thing so you can build more quicker and then after you get some weapons you know so right now i'm gonna harvest so when they're shiny that's the only time you can harvest uh if you try picking them when they're too uh, when they're not sparkling like that like right there like it's you don't get that much back in return so that's why like i try to um harvest them when they're all shiny or uh, sparkly because you get the most amount of your stuff so when i click plant i'm just replanting that with blueberries uh keeping it simple and whatnot so this is where you craft i don't know like a flower i don't have the flower powder so i think i have to go to the shop and buy a certain type of fruit i believe i'm not too sure um, I think I have to buy wheat right there. So I'm going to go to the shop and then go buy some wheat. And then basically the fuel will, pro you need the fuel to craft stuff, right? So I'm putting 10 down 10 and that costs 25. And then I put the wood on there and you can see it's kind of going down in the level. You can see it's like getting depleted. Uh, and so when it gets depleted, then it gets closer to finishing. So they do cost quite a bit to uh fuel and stuff like that but like you get certain type of uh metals you get some certain types of gems you get all that good stuff so while that's crafting you could do whatever you want um that's not going to take me that long to see that to be finished so what i usually do is just like go around and then go farm some ores or whatever that i just use so i can just like replenish it so sometimes it's good to have an abundance like i would say like you want at least like to have like a minimum of like uh anywhere from 50 to 100 on most of the, like your ores and your wood i would say minimum have a hundred on hand and same with your fibers because uh you'll be building stuff with when you build stuff they usually lead you to a secret area where you can actually get some really cool stuff i won't tell you guys what you can get but you get some really cool stuff so like it's so cool how everything's integrated right so in this game so there's so much to build and like so much to do in this game it's it's a lot of fun so uh i have to you do have to be a little bit careful with spending your resources because they things do cost quite a bit so like right now i'm just going to show you guys i'm just going to build a window and they actually look kind of cool like if you want to spiff out your place uh, you have to hit F and you have to hit recycle and then you just uh, replace it afterwards, right? So I got that done. Um, I have to go outside because sometimes with your character, it's going to just disappear your uh, your walls. So it's harder to do F and then you hit that recycle button and then that basically gets rid of the wall. So you can replace it with something else and then you hit F again and then click on your wall if you want to upgrade it. So there's an upgrade feature. So there's that. There's the stairs. So when you build the stairs, make sure you, uh, that's how you basically build the stairs and then you can make a second floor, right? So the second floor will say uh, wood ceiling. That's the only uh, floor you can do to add the secondary uh, floor, right? So you can see right there, it wants to add a, a ceiling on there, right? So that's basically how you make the second floor of the house. So 
a lot of it does take a lot of resources just keep that in mind so um, try to use things a little bit more sparingly uh, I have not used this vine wool yet so <laughs> I'm gonna have to see how that turns out but I'm probably gonna build more of a garden so if you guys like this video like and subscribe and share this and I'll see you guys in the next video